It's just been one nightmare for them. It's a big building. It's just been one thing after another. But it's just getting close now. You should have been done three months ago. It's just everything I try to do goes backwards, it seems like. But it's just a big warehouse and shit. Like the cars are the great house warehouse. Okay. inside the Jeep, it's got the Hellcat engine, which is part of the reason why it's so damaged. This is the goddamn spaceship. So we got to uh, the shop right as they were going to lunch. So we said, hey, we'll go get ourselves some lunch too. So we are at, what's it called? Comeback Shack. Comeback Shack. And- It's about a mile from Appalachian State. They're like one of the only two things open. The other one is yeah, Arby's <laughs> right over there. So we chose these guys because they're locally owned. Even the Waffle fresh. House is closed. Yeah, I wanted some breakfast food, but nope, not today. But I'm excited to try this place, so we'll see how it is. Look at this home style chicken. Mmm. No, I'm not eating keto today. <laughs> one thing we do need in the Jeep is uh, some extra cup holders. There's only two, and that is uh, way few too many kind of drinks sitting on the dash. <laughs> and I was like holding the cup, uh, the cups on our way here. I was a human cup holder. So we're gonna look into that. But we're about to dig in. Here's his burger. <laughs> <laughs> so here she is, one last time, naked, with no, no roof rack. We're about to have the Gobi rack installed here at High Country 4x4. Also known as Ruby Trucks.
Adobe roof rack and no lift. It's kind of weird, but that's just the order we had to do it in. And the guys at Ruby Trucks were awesome. We really appreciate them. Everybody was super cool, very helpful, informative, uh, took the time out of their day to, to do it for us in one shot since we couldn't drop it off. So they got it done in a couple hours and we're hungry again. So we're actually headed back to come back. Come back. Come back, Shaq. Come back, Shaq. We're gonna try their chicken tenders this time. Uh, and then we're gonna hit the road. And then it's about four and a half hours back to Georgia. So, but yay, we got it done. Thanks to everyone at Ruby Trucks. Uh, we'll be doing some business with you guys again in the future, so. And they gave me this cool hat. <laughs> we did come back. Come back, Shaq, I came back. Came back to the comeback show. The second time. <laughs> we get a name for this? Mac. Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, if we get y'all. I'm going to do your chicken tenders. Gotcha. With, I don't know if you have honey mustard. We do. Okay. And a water. Anything else? Yeah, I'm going to do, I right, don't judge me here. I'm going to do chicken tenders also huh? with honey mustard. I'm going to do, what is the burger you guys have with your local meat? It's the local burger. Let me do that, um, the old fashioned style, yep. and then I'm gonna do the chicken sandwich also. Is that one also old fashioned style? Uh, chicken sandwich, which, how did you do it? Just, just lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. The uh, yeah. Puritan. All right, anything else? That's it. All right, let me get 24 of the five.
like to introduce you to my new lunchbox. Oh, I'm actually gonna pull it up here with me. Oh, 